Einstein once said, the world is a dangerous place to live, not because of the people who are evil, but because of the people who don't do anything about it. Hello, my name is Sydney Nichols, and today I'm going to be telling you why we should end gun violence. What Albert Einstein said really had an impact on me, because I feel the exact same way. Without stopping the violence, it just keeps getting worse and worse. This is causing deaths that do not need to happen. I understand the Bill of Rights and how you have the right to bear arms, but you have to take this with a grain of salt. Yes, you are guaranteed the right to bear arms, and yes, you are allowed to carry and conceal a weapon with a permit. But this doesn't mean people are going to obey the laws. People show over and over again they do whatever they want and proceed to not care about others or the consequences of their actions. I want to put an end to this, to the hurt world that we have created. I can't tell you enough how afraid I am to even go to certain places because I'm not sure who's going to be there or what's going to happen. This is why I believe we should end gun violence, because you shouldn't feel scared or feel barricaded in a free country. Now that I have spoken enough about my personal opinion, I want to look directly at the facts. So now let's look over to the PowerPoint. As you can see at the slide, America's insane rate of gun, homicide, and violence. So this is the US, and as you can see, there is a big dot on our country, and it's completely way more than every other country. And I think we should end all gun violence, but especially in our country. It's crazy how much gun violence we have. And then this is gun deaths and injuries by 10. Gun deaths by 10. So homicide is 12,246. Unintentional deaths, 500. Shootings by law enforcement, 479 plus. And then undetermined is 279. And then over here is suicide, which is 21,637. That's a crazy, crazy number. And we should really, really look into this. And now taking actions. According to Time Magazine, six ways gun violence can be prevented are number one, making buying a gun like buying a car, stricter background checks, and making it harder process to buy a gun. Number two, passing laws to reduce gun violence. Number three, doctors being involved, like mental health, like most people that cause the deaths and the gun violence are people that are mentally ill. So just stopping that would really help. Number four, investing in smarter gun technology. And number five, eliminating funding restrictions on gun violence research. And then number six, Ending legal immunity for gun manufacturers. According to preventioninstitute.org, we can also help prevent gun violence, which again, having stricter gun laws, establishing a culture of gun safety, reducing risk and increase in resilience in individuals, families, and communities, and also more research in general. These are all things that should be taken seriously and looked at to prevent gun violence. Because the only way to stop it is if you work hard and find the answers to the problems. They will never fix themselves. My name is Cindy Nichols, and I want you to remember, the world is a dangerous place to live. Not because of the people who are evil, but because of the people who don't do anything about it. So let's do something about it. Thank you. And these are my sources.